Hey guys, today we're gonna look into 10 hacks for free rides gears. What is a hack, you may wonder? That's like a more clever way to figure out a problem so you have a better time simply. And hack number one is crashing. The first and most important thing is if you have crashed here, ah, make sure that the feet are underneath you before you even attempt standing up. Get the bum close to your skis and push off. That's enough for me today. But if you're in crazy Japanese powder, that may not be enough. Try this. You can use your ski poles as a snowshoe if it's crazy deep. And then you push that in the snow and then up. Pretty neat, huh? Another type of crash that's cool. You crash before you lose the momentum or stop sliding. Try to just flip over Get the feet under and stand up. Something like this. And then you just keep going. So smooth. Hack two, the one skin skate hack. If you're free riding and you end up down on a flat surface like a lake or a riverbed, I've done this many times. You can pull yourself out or like skate like a cross country skier, but there's a slightly more clever way you can make it out. You bring one climbing skin with you. Put it on like usual. Hopla, it's totally smacked me in the face. Next thing you do, you undo the heel of your binding. You can probably do this too if you just undo the ski boot. Take it on again. And now the fun begins. The idea now is that we're gonna do this like if we were out skateboarding. That we use the ski with the skin to push off. Man, this is so smooth. Pretty smooth, eh? Hack three. You've been skinning for a while. And if you end up in a steep section where you don't want to take your skis off in order to take your skins off, there's a way you can do it. You take both poles in one hand, and then you go for a tail grab to undo the buckle at the back, and then rip the skin off. But if you got brand new skins, it can be a little bit tricky. But once they're a little worn out, they get, they're a little easier to get off. So you basically lift it up, unhook, and pull it off. Pretty neat, huh? And then, for the next skin, I would flip around and take the downhill skis skin off. Hack four, you've been having a nice long tour up, you're ready to drop in. But before you put your skins in your backpack, think of this. If you need to use them again, don't put them in your backpack if it's cold out. Because if they freeze, they may lose its functionality, and that's not cool. So instead of putting them in your backpack, put them inside of your jacket, between the snow lock and your upper body, so they stay sort of in place and they stay warm. Some jacket has a pocket for this purpose alone, where you don't get wet. You can also put the skins in a plastic bag before you put them towards your upper body. Hack five, carry duct tape. Why? It's the best tape in the world and has a million uses. You can fix someone if it gets like whatever cut as first aid kit, or you can fix like a tear in your jacket before it gets any worse. Uh, this is heavy, so you can put it on your ski pole and it's gonna weigh almost nothing and it's always gonna be there for you when you need it. I don't like it to be this maximum width, so I've split it in half, you know. Just roll it, roll it, roll and roll and roll and roll it. I like the sound of duct tape. Hack six. You can also use your ski poles to measure how steep a slope is. And to do so, you need two poles that are the same length. First, you need to find out what's vertical. That's pretty easily done using gravity like this. And you stick the bottom of the pole in. Second pole needs to be horizontal. And that's a little bit trickier to find. So use a bit of feeling. It's not an exact science anyway. Now when it's like this one to one, that means that this slope is about 45 degrees steep. 45 degrees is really steep and really exciting and quite dangerous when it comes to avalanches. So stay safe out there. If it would be less steep than this, then you can move the pole down. When I put the tape onto the pole, I didn't just put it there. I put it in two spots on this pole. One quarter of the way down and halfway down the pole. 
So if this would have been in the middle of the pole, then it would have been about 27 degrees steep, which is like a playful intermediate slope, quite easy going. And then I also left the tape a quarter of the way down, which means that if it'd be here, it would be 37 degrees, which is quite steep. But you get the point, 45 degrees, 37 degrees, and 27 degrees if you'd be all the way down there. Fuck, that's not what I was gonna do. Can we just like, do like that? So that's hack number six. Hack seven. Don't wanna get a wet bum? Build a bench. Look at that. Is that better? Oh, that's good. Oops. Don't lean back. No. Hey Jens, I'm feeling kind of hungry. Hi Kate, bring some mountain snacks. Do you bring some? Yep, there you go. Oop. Fruit and a sugary nut bar. It's all fine, but I find my energy levels are higher if I have a bit more protein and fat on my mountain snack. And here's how you make a Jens ball. Okay, coconut fat, ram fresh, peanut butter, vanilla, almond, flax seeds, cacao nibs, cacao, coconut. Fridge for 20 minutes. Make squares. Make balls. Ta-da! Ta -da. <laughs> Hack nine, don't be a tool, carry one. I like this, it has a plier, and you get a nice Phillips head number three. That's what fits most bindings. There's most tools like this, it's own Phillips screw. It's too small and you can easily damage your bindings. But to be honest, I mostly use my tool for slicing sausage. You're a sausage. Maybe. Next hack. Hack 10. All right, they just hit a rock and I ripped the hole out of the base. I'm not too worried about my skis, but some of you are, and we're worried that you're gonna get water inside the ski. So, if you carry PTEX, that's basically plastic, and a lighter, don't carry matches like I do today. Sorry. Uh, first thing you wanna do, remove any excess material. Like that. Maybe. If you don't have PTEX, you can also try using just a bit of plastic from a pet bottle or mountain snack since i'm rolling with stupid matches today we're gonna need a few because p-tex is a little bit slow to get started so basically you just heat the p-tex and we're gonna let it drip in oh it's gonna come soon hopefully before i start burning my fingers oh there we go again here man it's a little bit difficult to do in a, in a lift oh i was a bit too close be careful with that what a sweet repair. <laughs> That's not my finest work. <laughs> you cut off any excess material like this. So the base is waterproof again. Temporary fix, almost as good as new. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed these 10 free ride hacks and maybe you have some hacks of your own, please let us know in the comments below. If you want to learn how to ski powder better or how to drop cliffs, check out this playlist we made of our best free ride tutorials. Have fun treading. Right now I'm gonna go and do some turns myself. See you next time.